Two News. This is TV Two News tonight at six. Good evening. I'm Donna Jordan. And I'm Jack Hicks. That made worldwide headlines. When Neil Armstrong put the first footprint on the moon, the world seemed to hold its breath. As June Butel tells us today, they're celebrating in a moon-shaped museum. Three years after Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, this museum was built in his hometown of Wapakoneta. It tells the story of the farm boy who dreamed of traveling to space and his home for a golf-sized rock Armstrong helped to bring back. The moon rock is the museum's most popular exhibit, and it's priceless. You know, I've heard $800 million, I've heard, you know, various figures, but, uh, you know, how, how can you place a value on something like that, really? The museum is at the center of Wapakoneta's four-day moon fest celebration. They lifted off on July 16th, 1969, shortly after 9.30 a.m. without any problems or delays. A real smooth launch. Demonstrations and souvenir purchases are keeping visitors busy, and people are coming from all over. We're from Norwalk, Ohio, and uh, my son wants to be an astronaut. It's a, something he's aspired for a long time, and so this is kind of like our educational vacation. I think it'd be neat to go up in space. So, seeing all of this, how does that make you feel? Neat. The 20th anniversary reunited a Canadian artist with a lost painting. A lot of my family and people I knew said, where's your painting? And I said, well, I don't know. I'm going to write to Neil Armstrong. So I wrote to Neil Armstrong and said, uh, could you tell me where the painting is? Is it in your office, in your home? Jackson discovered his painting has been hanging in the museum for the past 17 years. When the museum opened 17 years ago, 160,000 people came through here, but the numbers have dropped off and averaged about 60,000 over the past few years. The museum is hoping, however, that the renewed interest generated by the 20th anniversary will give their numbers a boost. In Wapakoneta, June Butel, 2 News. We have right now. Tonight, we salute those at the Dayton Air and Trade Show. Good night. Good night.